Good afternoon from Bookends Allotments. That's our new sign on our gate. It is uh, the 3rd of August, 4 o'clock in the afternoon, and I'll just give you a quick tour of the plot, show you where everything's coming on. Here is a uh, blackberry. Those things are about as nearly big as my thumb. It's got loads on there. As you can well see, we took a load yesterday, and there's even more to come. So, that'll be keeping us busy doing those. I'll give you a sight of the um, pumpkin. I'm having to speak a little bit quiet. There are some people up on the allotment, so you'll have to excuse me. Yes, the plum tree has had a trim. I viewed a few videos online to have a look how to prune it and I've given it a prune. Here we go. Here he is. Here's the one. Anyway, I'll just get there. That's my hand. So you can see how, how big he is and he's got to get a lot, lot bigger than that. This is our new apple tree. First year we've had him in and he is producing an awful lot of apples, which you can see are lovely. Very pleased with this. The cooker, I'll uh, zoom in. There's loads of new uh, apples on this. I think we're brewing for a storm at the moment. You can see them, they're really coming on nice. That underneath there, we put our rest of our leeks in there. I know they're late going in, very late going in. You can just about see them, they're like bits of grass. The wife decided to have a go at the rhubarb bed, cleared it all out, dug it over nicely, weeded it, absolutely beautiful. I'll turn you around and show you the tomatoes. There we go, right up to the top of the cage. We've taken a lot of the leaves off them at the moment because the gentleman next door he's got blight on his tubs of potatoes and we hoping it's not going to blow across here in the wind and uh, get onto our um, tomatoes which we have taken some off some leaves off which had got black bits on them so hopefully we've caught it before it catches us my dahlias they are beautiful absolutely beautiful so coming on nicely the watering system that I've well the feed system I put in it's been working really well so far I'm very happy with it let's just take you around I think there are some uh, blueberries left yes they are blueberries left on the tree we did a load yesterday nice picking there we go some nice ones really nice large ones coming those are mostly coming to their own when we're on holiday. Right, the cucumber. The first two this year. I don't even think there's any more flowers at the moment. No. So, he's been very poor. Oh, there's, there's some flowers there. Very, very poor this year. Don't know why, whether it's the weather or what. These tomatoes. One of these, Togarella, they got the stripes on them, yeah, and those I think are the cherry ones, yeah, honeycomb tomatoes, yeah, really looking nice, so everything's looking good, it's very eatable, put it that way, I won't show you that next bed, <laughs> it needs weeding, the onions are starting to go over, there we go, we can uh, hopefully, we're going to take them up today and pop them in the greenhouse for them to dry out. The fennel coming on nicely. And the Swiss chard. It's beautiful. Beautiful colour. Really vivid red and a vivid green. One of them has gone to seed. We have been taking our French black beans. I can probably zoom one in for you. There he is. There's one. And there's some up there as well. Oops, there we go. 
they're really nice they do turn green when you cook them under this structure we've got the rest of our licks and that is Bean Alley I will take you on the tour of Bean Alley there's loads absolutely loads we've took how many baskets home? four? Oh, no, five, six baskets. five to six baskets of beans I'm just giving them away just can't get rid of them quick enough beautiful We've got tons this year. We were late. Were we late putting them in? No. No? No? There we go. Look at those. And there's Bean Alley. Loaded with beans. We took a good load of them today. I'm oh, sorry, yesterday. I gave them away to a lady that gives us horse manure. And there's still loads. I can't get over them. Yeah, we've got to do another picking. Oh. Show you the sweet corn. That's really come on nicely. I'm happy with this. Let's see. Show you how thick that is. Really thick. Once the, brown, the tops have been browned, the the uh, flowers have done their jobs. They've dropped down onto them and they've actually pollinated the flower. Look at that. How thick that is. Gorgeous. Absolutely. Can't wait for some of these. So, we'll pop you around to the butternut squash. Oh, look at these. The butternut squash themselves, they have gone nuts. Again, they've really filled out. they have put it this way, they're bigger than Tesco's. They am. Here's one. Okay. There we go. There's one. He's really coming up. Let's move you around to the other side. Let me just move that bottle out the way. There we are. All both in there. Really beautiful. That one's got to be about 12 inches long. And we have another one. Up there. They're only coming on. That's how big they are to my hand. Whether you can see them. And we've got other ones popping up everywhere. I'll just show you the other little squashes. That's our courgette plant. Just give them a set courgettes for their courgette fritters. Sorry about the wind, it's all of a sudden decided to get up. Oh, there we go. Look at him. Lovely. Absolutely beautiful. There is one in there somewhere. It's all these leaves. Oh, there we are. Sorry about that. Let's zoom in. There he is. He's coming on nicely. Yeah. Just move you around to the one. It's on the fence. Oh, oh there's two on there. Oh, yeah. Didn't notice that. Yep, yeah, really coming on beautiful. So, the pumpkin. This one over here, which we put in the, one of the raised beds. He has gone ballistic. I can't get over some of these flowers. There's a bee doing his old job in there. Yes, one of the neighbours' bees, honey bees. Uh, I think I'm going to have to take you around the other side to show you. One second, moving round. There we go. Look at this. I'll put my hand on top of him. It's so big he is. He's ginormous. Yes, I've got more fruit coming on. So, the potatoes are starting to look as if they could uh, do with taking but we're not going to take those until we come back after holidays I've still done that basket of potatoes with the flowers off to see whether they will produce even more the strawberries they've just gone potty on the old um, oh, we've got one on their new runners. There he is. Let's zoom in. Yeah, there we go. One solemn strawberry, which we'll have in a minute. Show you the peppers. These are outside. The inside. Have we have got any peppers on the inside, Jan? Yes, no? No, they're all outside. All outside. Oh, yeah. Okay. 
There we go. The peppers coming on nicely, which is good. Oops, sorry about that. He's there somewhere. There he is. Pepper. It's underneath that framework. Yeah. The framework there. There's some peppers underneath there. There's some parsnips and kale. So, oh, yeah, they're, they're the pointed peppers. If I can zoom into that. There we go. Pointed ones. They're all nice and little at the moment. Which they'll be having a feed. And we've actually had some uh, decent cabbages, which are really looking good. I like my cabbage. So, finish off on a note on the tomatoes over there, because I don't think I've got much left in my battery. And I don't hate it to go all the way through. But yeah, the plot is really looking nice, it's producing. The missus would like the plot next door, but I think I'd strangle her if she got it. I would. <laughs> She'd look at me. <laughs> More or less to say, you dear. <laughs> but yes, it's coming on. So, from Bookends Allotments, we'll mostly do another video update when Mummy come back off holiday and show you how everything has really gone on then. So, from myself and from Jan, it's bye bye Bye. Okay, just a little update. Uh, this is Iron Man broccoli, four nice big cloves, which are going to be really nice to look forward to. And we have actually harvested the onions. You are now looking at a snowball. Nice size onions. Beautiful. First time we've done these this year, and I am very impressed. Very impressed indeed. Look how beautiful and white they are. Lovely, beautiful. These are our red onions, they are carmen, carmen red onions, and these are even really large. Nice, put them out in there to dry out, and then we get on to the normal favourites, the Hercules. These are beautiful as well. I can't get over, this is about the best year we've had on onions at the moment. I'll just take you down to the bed that I've been working on at the moment. You'll have to excuse all the bags, that's all the weeds. There's the broccoli, the Iron Man broccoli, all tidied up. We've had to throw a few of the cabbages away and cauliflowers, the cauliflowers are blown. And there are our remaining cabbage. I'm gonna give them a feed and a good water. There's some more broccoli and there are our sprouts ready for next year and yes we've got some little sprouts coming on them already ready for Christmas oh I shouldn't have said that word should I Christmas but hey ho it's all looking nice so thanks for watching see you soon, soon.